we go. How's that? How's that? Curling my hair. Was this a good idea or a bad idea? I think it was a bad idea. Okay, hi guys, how are you doing? Um, it's the 1st of December. Where has all that time gone? And I'm up in the makeup room with um, a spread of makeup in front of me, um, ready to film Bobby Brown lip balm. Uh, my first video in a long time. Um, in fact, my first video since um, I left Bobby Brown Cosmetics. And what a mad bonkers time it's been. I was a bit heartbroken to leave, but it was the right time um, to move on. I still love the brand and the product, but time to spread my wings. And my goodness, the opportunities I've had, even in the last month, have been sensational. I was going to say insane, did you see? Entation, insane. Insane and sensational. Right, um, I'm going to start doing a bit of a party makeup today. I wanted to base what I filmed, um, I wanted to base it on the likes and the comments I've been getting on Instagram. So that's where I'm headed. Plus it's Christmas season, right? So who doesn't want to know a party look? Um, I'm going to start by using a bit of the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Day Serum. Um, but this is a great, super hydrating um, sodium hyaluronate based uh, serum that just wallops a load of water into your skin that is then held in place with some glycerin. Um, on with a bit of Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Still uh, my favourite, I want to say primer, but my favourite day cream underneath foundation. So I've got about, you know, a large-ish pea size. I don't know if I'll be able to cut in my rambling, so I was just saying that um, it is my friend's daughter's birthday today, so I thought it'd be fun to curl my hair. I now realise it was a massive error to experiment with a curling wand just before filming a video. Sorry guys, bear with me. Um, but I want to try, I haven't tried this yet, this is the Beauty Pie Great Skin Foundation and it's in number two, Butter Milky, Butter Milky. There it is, it's a nice looking pump. I'm going to use my fingers, um, Oh, let me open the pump, that would help, twist. Um, just because I found recently, using my fingers for foundation application has given me such a nice finish that I'm doing it all the time. I think I discovered it by accident. Um, oh, I like this. With Bo Diana, so kind of being in a rush in the morning and then just using my fingers to quickly apply a little bit of makeup. But actually, I'm really loving the finish. I can smell it, but it's a really pleasant... Oh, it's, al it's almost not there. So it does have a, a fragrance, but it's very light. I'm gonna conceal my under eye. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is, I've been calling it Chanel, but it's not. It's Canel or Canelli, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to sweep that in the inner corners of my eye. Um, I've been really impressed with this um, thus far. Uh, she says applying loads. I was just going to say the only thing is you don't need much. You really don't need much. A little bit goes a really long way. For those of you who ask on my Instagram page about how to stop concealer creasing, this step right here, I know I might look a bit deranged, <laughs> But this step of patting and pressing concealer into the skin is essential. Shall we add a little bit of colour? I think I need it. One sec. Okay, I'm going to add a bit of colour in just a sec. First of all, I want to show you, this is my Ambient Lighting Edit palette. Ambient Lighting Edit. So these are the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. Now this I bought years ago, so I think this was possibly the first of the palettes and there have been different palettes since. But I want to show you the lovely dim light powder. I'm gonna use that as a setting powder because I absolutely love how it makes my skin look. Now I met the founder of Hourglass this week, Carissa James. Oh my goodness, she's lovely, she's beautiful. And she was saying how, you know, light 
makes all the difference to how you look and how your makeup looks. So she had a great time like using all the kind of new technologies in makeup to create powders that could mimic different lighting effects. So subtle but so pretty, I love it. I was gonna use a bit of Michelle at Tilbury Flawless Filter, but because I've raced ahead and gone to powder, I won't use it because it could get a bit congealed in my um, ambient lighting powder. If you wanna see me use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in, up in an upcoming video, just comment below, let me know, and I'll be sure to do that. Before I do anything else though, I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. Now this is Terracotta by Guerlain, which is one of the most classic, well-known bronzers I think of all time. And I'm using a, actually a peaches and cream, big old brush that I have in my makeup bag. And let's try this out for size, shall we? Because we all know I love my bronzer. Oh, pretty. I would say it's probably not as deep as I normally go in bronzer tone, but I like it. It's got it's got just the right amount, I think, of slightly warmer cinnamon tones for me. Oh, lovely. And what I like actually is if you look at that, I can't really, there's no like powdery residue on my skin. I like that a lot. I've had terracotta years ago, but I haven't used it in the longest time. It's also such pretty packaging. Well, the packaging's pretty, I mean the actual powder itself. Let me just do a little bit on my forehead. Shouldn't have curled my hair, chaps. What was I thinking? Can't blame a girl for trying. It's something I really, really want to master. The art of the, like, beachy wave. I'm just not quite there, am I? Hmm. Lovely. And that's terracotta... 03 Natural Warm. Like it a lot. Um, recently I've been wearing this beautiful Becca blush. This is in a colour called Flower Child. So with a, um, this is a sheer powder brush from Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. I'm just going to take a bit of that over the apples of my cheeks. It's a really pretty, it does have a slight sheen to it but it's a slightly peachy pink. And I really like it. It reminds me a little of Orgasm by NARS. Um, but when I take my selfies and smile, it does leave a really pretty sheen on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm quite a fan of this here, Becca, flower child. Okay, another thing that is new to me, and that is, Gimme Brow by Benefit. I don't really know where I've been for a while. I haven't, I haven't tried any of the recent Benefit, oh, kick the camera. I haven't tried any of the recent Benefit brow products, but I was going through um, my goodie bag from the Mario Dedovanovic masterclass that I went to earlier in the year, and this was in it. And it's so, e I, I'm almost too embarrassed to show you my eyebrows because they are in such, a mess right now, um, but let me just apply some of this for you. So, it's a like a coloured gel with fibres in that help mimic the appearance of brow hairs. Lisa Potter Dixon, tell me if I'm wrong, but look how quick and easy this is just to brush it through the brows and not only kind of manipulate them into the shape you want, but also add a bit of colour. So actually that's that's the longest I've spent doing it since I've had it. Normally in the morning, first thing with the kids, it's like shum 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 and I'm done. So the speed is an element that has really impressed me. Okay, moving on to les yeux or the eyes. And um, I can't stop raving about this. This is a smoke shadow from the hourglass scattered light collection and these are brilliantly long wearing sparkle shadows so again nothing fancy in terms of application simply ring finger in the pot and then sweep with my ring finger over my lid for a beautifully soft slightly smoky 
sparkle. Now it's called smoke, but I think it's kind of a a neutrally beigey, goldy pinky shimmer. Neutrally beigey, goldy pinky shimmer. So it's a little bit of everything. Can you see that? So pretty. Oh, you just saw a little bit more of my makeup room. It is such a mess right now. <gasps> And we have, we're hosting Christmas this year, so my sister and her husband will be staying up here and my goodness, I need to get in here before Christmas Eve and give it a really good tidy up. Oh, do you know, I've got a size mum and dad staying before then, but yes, tis a mess. Oh, I can hear Bo Diana protesting downstairs. Okay. A great trick for anyone with a slightly hooded eye, if you bring your shadow that little bit higher, so above the crease that you can see, it just means you can see the effect of your shadow. It doesn't have to go right up to your brow bone, but take it just up above the crease so you can still see the shadow. Right, I'm now going to use a bit of liquid liner. This is by Ardell, and I love these because again, quick and easy to just etch along the lash line. I don't know if you can see, I'm looking down into my palette. That way, I can keep my eyes open. I'm looking right at my lash line. And I can get that liquid liner on really easily. Sometimes I find if I'm trying to do liquid liner like this, like my eyelashes get in the way and it's just that little bit harder to do. There we go, I've just pulled it out a little bit. So do the same on the other side. So again looking down, keeping my eyes open so I can see my lash line. Can you see? Quick and easy liquid liner. Such a great trick for the festive season. If you don't have time to do anything else with the eyes, just a slick of black liner with some mascara and you're winning. Then another thing I've been using a lot on my Instagram recently, this is Roach uh, 24 seven Glide On Eye Pencil by Urban Decay and it's a gorgeous, like a bronzy, and it's a gorgeous bronzy colour. And I'm just gonna use that to bridge the gap between my liner and my shadow. Just because I didn't want this to be a hard liner, because I wanted it to be a bit more of a kind of Christmassy, smoky eye. And I'm wearing leopard print, so you know, a bit of bronze doesn't go amiss. But do you see how the rope has just softened? You see there, it's quite a crisp line to the shadow. There it's softened it out slightly. So it's a bit like a double lining technique but using uh, a pencil instead of a shadow. And these pencils, my goodness, they're long wearing. Once you've applied this, you've got literally no fear of it creasing. Fabulous, 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 ha! Okay, okay, time for a little bit of mascara, my fave. Um, actually, am I gonna, am I gonna stop there? I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna take a bit of my heavy metal, I've got hair on my thingy, my heavy metal glitter liner. Oh, look how pretty. This is also by Urban Decay. And I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of this, just along the base of my eyeliner. Just to add a tiny bit more sparkle again. It's the party season. It's pretty subtle. I'll show you when the makeup's finished and when I zoom in. But I love this stuff. I've loved it since I was like 15, 16. I had a, like a black one, I had a bluey turquoise one. I had like a clear one. 
they're just so pretty. Um, so I'll show you that, again I'll zoom in in a second, but again if you want to add a bit of sparkle to your Christmas makeup but you don't want to do sparkle all over the lid like I've done, adding a bit of one of those glitter liners just at the base of your eyeliner, it's a winning formula. So I'm just going to curl my lashes quickly, being careful not to smudge, ha <laughs> ha, that would be a pain, my sparkle liner, there we go, and these are a pair of ancient Tweezerman eyelash curlers. I've had them for ever and they are still as kind of curling as the day I bought them. I love them. Hourglass caution mascara. There's a lot of hourglass in this video. That was totally unintentional but um, I suppose it's been one of the brands that I have absolutely loved in recent years so it's only right that I share some hourglass with you guys today. But this is their Caution Mascara, which is actually the best volumising or new volumising mascara that I've tried recently. I've tried quite a few, but this one really, really grabs my lashes. And I said um, to Carissa, the founder of the brand, this week that it felt like Velcro. As I pushed the wand into my lashes, the wand really just instantly grabbed my lashes and then drag them through the bristles for really good coverage. Let me just come in a bit closer, she says zooming out. Look at that for Mazzy. Love it. Okay, let me zoom in a minute for you to see my eyes. So that's the Hourglass Smoke, Scattered Light Glitter Shadow with the Ardell Liquid Liner and blended with Urban Decay Roach 24-7 Eye Pencil and a little bit of that gorgeous glitter liquid liner along the lash line. Okay, so just let me finish with my lips. I'm going to do, this is Strip Down Lip Pencil by MAC. I love it, it's such a great nude. I've got a bit of lip balm on. So let me turn that down a little. And then I'm just gonna line my lips. Don't talk. And then I'm going to finish with the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath over the top. Do I look like a VS model yet? <laughs> Should I have curled my hair? Possibly not. Can I zoom out a little further? So there we go. This is my um, luminous Christmas party makeup look using some of my current and long-standing faves. Um, any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments section below. Um, what other looks would you like me to film in the run-up to Christmas? I'd love to do one, if not two more. So message me, let me know what look you'd like me to recreate and I will do that for you. Um, if it's one you love from my Instagram page, just let me know. I get inundated with messages um, about recreating looks. Maybe I'll do a poll. Should I do a poll on my Instagram? Okay, I'll do a poll and you guys can tell me uh, which look you want me to do for next time. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you all really soon. Bye. Thumbnail, have I got my thumbnail?